All right. Good evening, guys. So today is um, all right. Mm, December twelfth, Tuesday, seven twenty-two p.m. I'm late again. I'm sorry. No excuses. I should have done this in the morning. <laughs> Tomorrow, definitely in the morning because tonight I'm trying to make sure I'll go to bed early my usual time like 7 30 and by 8 no matter what in bed right uh, so on that side another accountability is I'm procrastinating my Japanese lessons again this is how I <laughs> I end up quitting midway this time I'm definitely not doing not doing that but yesterday I was supposed to do that I did not because it was way too late i already crossed like 8 30 or something and then it was already nine by the time i tried to do it so i was way too late and today it's i do have time i can probably put in like half an hour and do the till eight but the issue is if i do that my sleep schedule will be messed up again so uh yeah i did promise about the sleep that sleep would be my number one priority and like other than life emergencies some urgent situation that demands you know that involves someone's life i wouldn't cut back on my sleep so yeah this is completely my fault no excuse i procrastinated uh, i did not do it earlier i should have managed my time better so this is completely my fault so this is accountability for the japanese lesson two days last week was you know I, I was on a trip and all so it was understandable but this week there's no excuse on my side i'm just i sucked at managing my time yesterday and today and so this is yeah so tomorrow definitely i'll do my japanese lesson tomorrow so anyways getting back to today so <laughs> the accountability side now today I, I wanted to start like a habit of doing tracking my weight so I'll, i guess i'll i'll start doing this today i've been thinking about it so i'll probably start it today and so there you go there that's my current weight so 68.9 so if i remove my <laughs> my clothes it will probably be 68.8 so 68.8 12th of december 2023 tuesday and this is evening just before i go to bed so everything i want to have i already had and this is my end of the day weight so this is it so i probably should do this that's why i probably should do this mm. this scp speech confidence practice this this whole series like everyday video series i probably should do it morning because morning if i measure my weight and stuff it would be more um that's at least that's why usually the time most people measure the weight as it gives a more consistent one without before having any food and stuff so i probably should do that this, this, that's why i need to do this shit in the morning anyways so in the morning today it was probably around the same weight uh, a bit up and down but i'm around 68 now so uh, about two months back i was uh, i was back to 70 i told you guys about my gastric issue and stuff so like it was it happened out of nowhere and i had to break my run 120 day running streak as well and then that gastric issue happened and for a month I messed up my diet after that because I got a bit scared because I thought it would come back because it was absolutely the most painful thing I've experienced my whole damn life that uh, that like 12 hours of intense pain in the stomach so and I did ultrasound and all those and I like what what the doctor found was basically it was just acidity right but it was bad and also because after one I was having the stomach ache I just tried to eat like bananas and all that bullshit thinking it would cure the issue and it probably made it worse right so like i actually had that same issue when i was in pasiga just a bit just the beginning stage and i thought shit is it back is it back and then what i did was i just like walked around made sure i just walked around slightly to kind of get my mind off the pay egg 
and I sipped some water every 10 or like five, five to 10 minutes as a bit of water that that's all I did and after around an hour it completely went back right so maybe that's it that's what I should be doing so anyways so like one that gastric issue happened and then after that month of messing up my diet and all I increased my weight from around 64 when I was consistently running having that running streak going 120 day running streak I around 64 down to se up to 70 right I gained like six kilos so yeah so I like I got my belly back I was actually reaching my abs almost and then I got it back so yeah so anyways but like after after getting it back I tried doing it again and uh, it actually in a way helped me out because I gained weight so my pull-ups and push-ups got harder and I actually gained a lot of muscle back like you know I gained extra muscle because like I can tell the difference just by you know me feeling it and also my strength gains because I got the weight and I and because I, especially after that I, I again had that IT band issue right after getting back to running after that gastric issue because I tried to get back quickly I ended up causing my IT band to trigger and then because of the IT band again I had to switch up get into rocking alternate rocking alternate running in the morning and then push up pull up I started to focus more on strength uh, gains because I couldn't run as much and so I actually ended up gaining a lot of muscle in the last month because of my IT band issue and now I'm almost recovered at least I didn't feel the pain this week the, the usual egg I would get around six and seven kilometer mark so yeah so basically I benefited actually from all the mess the gastric issue and the IT band issue so anyways so I'm back now uh, to 68 from 70 around a month back with all the different issues I had the IT band and the gastric so yeah this is improvement you know so it fl it fluctuates so for people who like you know who are on a similar journey like me trying to get the abs or get, trying to get down to weight don't worry about everyday weight like measure yourself of course just to keep you keep yourself in check with the junk food and everything and your calorie intake whatever you're doing with your diet but don't stress over like the everyday fluctuations it will happen some days you'll gain two kilos and some days you'll be down two kilos right it, it, it does fluctuate even two kilos at least in my case it fluctuates crazy because i do eat <laughs> when i eat i do eat heavy and when i do work out i work out pretty intensely as well as in I run very long or I walk if I walk I walk for five hours something like that rocking so I do lose like two kilos and gain two kilos very easy so like for people who are worried and two kilos is probably a lot in pounds how much is that two kg uh, around 10 pounds is that I actually don't know though let me just do it here uh, all right two god damn it mm. one kg in pounds yep 2.2 .2 pounds so yeah so two kg is like five pounds approximately so like five pounds up and down it will happen it happens at least with in my case daily so you don't need to you know stress yourself over oh shit i'm gaining weight and all that you will lose weight if it's it's a thing of consistency you, if you keep it consistent usually your weight will differ in two weeks one week even in one week sometimes it remains the same or it fluctuates up and down but usually in two weeks time you will see some change a bit of change right so from when usually if every day at least in my case it, it would fluctuate between 67 70 and 69 for two weeks almost three weeks and then slowly it starts to touch 68 like and then suddenly it's 68 to 69 so it happens like that and it takes me around two weeks like that and I, nowadays i don't worry too much about weight either i just eat as much as i need and nothing more extra extra and i work out my user workouts whatever so 
so yeah don't worry too much about weight and <laughs> it's kind of contradictory because i'm try i'm starting like a checking my weight every day on my on my everyday video so if i trigger your weight um obsession or phobia I, i'm sorry but i i feel like it's actually a good habit to keep track of my own weight as well so let me be selfish on this one you know so anyways so like and maybe this could help you guys to check it every day as well and casually uh, don't worry too much about it anyways so how much is that all right almost 10 minutes i'll probably go over the line anyways so i was what was i i actually thought of a different topic i wanted to speak today the esther Pereira one i'll probably continue tomorrow or maybe the after tomorrow i'll see like you know because if i'm gonna do it tomorrow early morning i probably won't continue in that because early morning i'll just get up freshen up and then get to my video right so maybe the after tomorrow yeah bro, the after tomorrow i'll probably continue as the apparel one uh so anyways today i was actually what was i talking about i actually wanted to speak about something oh it was like it was some some oh about running yeah it was i actually watched a video about i believe it's mike dr mike so he's like a exercise scientist and he was he has a video on like athletes about how athletes not all athletes need to run and all that stuff and he made the point of how like rather than just running like most people just you know when it's, if someone is an athlete people expect them to be able to run but he was speaking about how like rather than just running you might as well do exercise specific drills right so he made good points and obviously i'm not qualified to question his points you know because i'm nobody and he's an extra scientist with a phd and years of experience so but in my humble opinion like i actually commented on this video by the way uh, so like running i at, in my little experience or like i've been running consistently for just a year but like i you know we in everything in all the sports i participated from a kid and all like we all run and and i will agree like with his his conjecture about how most people are just ignorant and they just do it because everyone does it which is true here at least but from my own experience personally this is like a completely personal thing i i feel like running like more than just an exercise it's just a way to clear your head like and i feel like you know if you're someone physically fit you should be able to run <laughs> right like i even made a joke on that comment about how like you know like hopefully you know you doing your sports specific drills saves you from the zombie apocalypse right so like although it was a joke but it's also true like if you're an athletic fit person it would probably be a good life skill just so you can run a bit right maybe i don't know shit happens in life and sometimes you need you need you might have to run you know for your life or you might have to run to save someone or you know whatever so, some some urgency or whatever and it might be a good skill running is so basic you know walking running it's such a basic skill it's it's something we we all do instinctually we, we unless you want to compete with, for running or run continuously you know get into like a, really to take it seriously usually most people can run on instinctually so like there's a reason why we probably can run instinctually plus it's like a it's like a survival skill so that's that's kind of my number one point about why you should run it's it's a survival skill and it's like a life necessity skill you you might need to save you might need it to save your life someday so might as well learn to run if you especially if you're already into fitness and stuff you might as well learn it you know maybe not focus on it and grind it out like a endurance athlete like people like me and like david goggins you know like i'm no way in comparing myself to david goggins i'm just saying because i'm focusing on running as well so like yeah so a basic life skill a necessity that's my number one point why you should run the second point is 
it's just it clears your head man like every time i run most often like probably six out of ten times every morning i will get up when i'm lacing up and stuff it just ah man i don't feel like doing it today maybe tonight today i need to get rest maybe like yesterday i didn't sleep well i slept five hours instead of the eight i plan to and yeah maybe i should rest today and stuff like that all sort of excuses come in the rain comes and all that i don't get those excuses nowadays nowadays i don't even think about it i just go do it because i got used to you know doing it but initially and even nowadays once in a while very rarely though like i do those excuses come up but every time i get out somehow get myself through the starting process and start running on the road like i've never regretted running right after coming back i never regretted because it's always gets my mood high you know and oftentimes during running i i get inspired by different thoughts sometimes i get <laughs> There are very, there, there were, there are, believe me, with me, like there are lots of runs where I was thinking about something and I just got so emotionally involved that, that I'm like embarrassedly almost tearing up <laughs> while jogging on the road. Fortunately, there are not many people jogging around here. So, you know, I doubt anyone saw my embarrassment, but it's true. And like, it's basically a moment for me to clear my head out and just you know think about stuff that i usually won't take the time to think because like with it's it's probably the same for most people nowadays it's it's at least it's the case with me that when i'm just at home with the wi-fi here and everything like it's hard to find a quiet time to just think about things right you know because the lab my laptop is here my big ass monitor is here my phone is here with me my tablet is here so like there's just so many things to do watching videos listening to music watching podcasts or whatever or doing something practicing something you know anything like there's just too many things to do too many things to occupy our you know our time but when running you you don't have many things you can do other than maybe you can listen to music and podcast other than that you can do much else so like your brain is unusually free and that's usually the time i sort out my thoughts a lot i think about some things i go on tangents with my thoughts and rest run with it literally while running <laughs> running with my thoughts as well and it's it's a good time to de-stress myself and just clear things out sort out my thoughts get the chaos out set things in order and plan up things to do things to write out things to write at my status for that current run and you know stuff like that so yeah first point was basically basic survival life skill second point why you should run is clearing out your mind this you know and getting sorting out your thoughts de-stressing and relaxing so those those were the I believe those were the two main points I made. Like the first point I made it as a joke, but I, I did mean it. I did mean it. But the second point is probably the legit one, like, you know, sorting out your thoughts and stuff. And yeah. So plus also running is uh, another big point. I guess I can pull, put it as like a third point. It's like running is like a, it's, it's a great, like access that hits the sweet spot sweet spots of a lot of things like you know there's this like i like like i'll be honest i don't i didn't look up the research papers myself but i believe andrew huberman is a reliable person you know and i many of the people i i listen to are reliable people like you know diary of a ceo that podcast i listen to and he does get very credible i i do trust him also like Etlian X, The Bioneer, uh, Jeff Nippard. I, I, think the, I, I think I have a good taste when it comes to, at least reliable taste when it comes to people, you know, I listen to. So like I got this information from among those people. Uh, I don't remember who in particular, but like that running, like a steady state cardio is great because it also helps first thing it, it, it's great for your mentality and stuff. 150 minutes of steady state cardio, zone two steady state cardio. That's what they say. And that is absolutely great. It's like a necessity. It reduces 
so many chances of so many diseases by a lot if you can do at least bare minimum that is a bare minimum you probably have to do better than that if you want to be good if you want to live a good life so yeah that's one point running gives you that steady state cardio zone two thing easy runs and i'm by running i usually mean easy runs not those hard runs so easy runs that's the great part and also because running is so flexible you can increase it right you can increase the int intensity whenever you want and you can decrease it obviously you shouldn't you should stick more to easy runs to prevent injury and overworking yourself uh, but you know you can it's it's adaptable first thing it's adaptable second it has lots of health benefits of the steady state zone to cardio thing we all know and it's proven on sports science and stuff and and also it's very efficient when it comes to burning calories like i've measured uh, probably because i'm um, mine is just like a samsung watch you know smart watch and it's probably not accurate but at least from the my measurements like and i've tried to compare it between different activities running is like the easiest way to burn like so many calories at once like my usual runs 8 to 12 kilometer it burns around 1000 kilometer a uh, thousand calories in an hour most most of my activity uh, running activity bur easily burns close to a thousand or more than thousand okay, uh, around somewhere around thousand so 800 to 1200 something like that and i have done like you know one hour walking it's like 300 calories something barely 300 and i i do pull-ups push-ups which are way more intense but on a calorie count heart rate and those st and uh, at that level it burns way less it's like barely 300 400 something right 200 most of the time so like just on burning calories as an efficiency it's first thing it's like basically it's a very good exercise my third point why you should run is probably like because running is such a well-rounded exercise that hits the sweet spots of a lot of criteria of an exercise adaptability the like uh, the the very basic level of requirement of skill skill requirement and also it's just like the the efficiency in which it burns calories right so yeah those are the i think those were the points i made in that comment as well and yeah i meant to do i just wanted to include it in this video so i wanted to talk about it as a video as well so yeah that's basically it so i should end this for today i i, I ran double the time like 10 minutes is kind of what i want to do with these videos but sometimes i cross it but it's okay i mean i'm the main reason i'm doing this is for speech confidence practice so the more i do actually the better but obviously this won't get me any views <laughs> with such long videos but who knows someone out there would probably appreciate it maybe at least i when i look back to this years from now this would probably be those like that phase of my youtube thing <laughs> where i really grew and got my confidence to speak in front of a camera and just making sure i'm looking at the camera which is still awkward for me because like it's just a tiny spot which i can't even see properly so yeah anyways so that's it um yeah once again sorry about the japanese lesson thing i'm missing two days in a row now it's not it's not good no excuse for this i'm being a lazy piece of shit so this that is it uh tomorrow definitely also this week these videos i probably should do in the morning anyways i should go to bed now quick get, get to shower drink a glass of water fix my bed dust my bed or whatever and just go to bed yep all right see you guys tomorrow good night man i should like mm, i'm still getting used to this shit. all right <laughs> good night